Hello and welcome to another Demis Helen tutorial. Quantize Swing is something that you can use to spice up your uh, melodic lines, your bass lines, your drums, and or your percussion. Uh, it can add a human element to it. It can add some extra life or something that you didn't think could happen to make your melody even better. And what it does is is it's swinging the sound, so it's giving it, uh, it as a quick translation more bounce. So you can hear some of these melodies throughout music, all genres of music. You have a more straight rhythm, and then you have a more like swung, bouncy rhythm. And I'm just going to demonstrate the two main ways that you can access that here. So the first one uh, is if you're selecting the track that you're on, that you want to apply swing you can then access the quantizer through the MIDI insert section here, and then just increase the swing. Uh, you've got control over uh, the quantized notes, so you can have 16s, 8s, 32nds, 64s, uh, you can have all of that, and then there's a strength meter there as well. Uh, and what that does is it's a, as it says here, real time. Um, so when you jump into the grid, you see 16th notes. As you can see here, uh, even if we just go to this first bar, you can see that we are in 16th notes. So there's four per bar, four, eight, 12, 16 notes per bar, 16th. And that's all good and well. You get a nice swung rhythm. So let's just demonstrate this swing. Uh, we have this as our melody. Okay. So if I now add 50% or near as two of swing and it's on, you'll hear that there is now more of a bounce. So it might sound similar to you if you haven't heard what swing does, but if I bypass it now for you, listen to those bottom notes you can hear, more straight, and now it's got more bounce. It's got a bit of a vibe to it. And swing really does enhance how things sound. Um, so if we was to go in here and add some bass notes, and we'll just add 16th rolling. And we'll just chuck it up an octave. And turn this off. Now you can hear that they're straight rolling and they have more bounce. Okay, so when you jump in there, you can see that they are 16th notes and nothing's changed. So let's turn this off so we've got no quantization on. In fact, we'll just unload it so we know it's definitely not working. And what we'll do is head over to here. Uh, in the toolbar, we have a quantize section, as you can see, it's uh, 16th notes uh, and a few other settings. But if you click this drop down arrow here to open the quantize panel, you have the same things as you would have had over here. So you've got the grid, and you can choose 16th, 8th, quarters, 30 seconds, 64th, etc., etc. And you have a swing control, and it'll show you what it's doing to the notes. So as you can hear, the ones that are every second beat stay the same, but it's the ones in between that are shifting, and that is essentially what swing is doing. So the only difference with this one is if we put 50% swing on, and then if we just open this up in the background, if you look at this and hit quantize, you can see it shifts all the notes. And now these 16th notes in the background, you've got one longer 16th note and a shorter one and a longer one and a shorter one and longer. And it's applied in like physically right in front of you. So you can see exactly what quantize you have got. So if we was now to apply 100%, just watch these second notes. They've shifted right over and these gaps have got smaller and you've got that. Whereas if we take it down to zero and apply, you've got that straight rhythm back. So what I usually do is I apply somewhere near the region of 50 to 60, depending on the track I am making and the speed of the track as well. Uh, doesn't work too well when you're playing something uh, in the range of like, say, 150 to 170. It just gets messy. Uh, it can be used, don't get me wrong, uh, but I tend to use it more in the lower tempos. So apply that, and you can see it's applied it 
visually. Uh, so they're the two main ways that you can add swing to your beat to increase uh, the melody's presence, to make it more interesting, especially when you've got lots of offbeat notes that uh, sound shifted and a bit disorientated. It makes things sound a little bit better, especially these top notes here. Uh, just go in there and apply that again. Uh, you can see it shifted this note. It hasn't shifted that one, and it just gives you gives you a little bit more. And you can see the bass is all this like disconcerted down here. It's all off center. And personally, it makes for a much more interesting track. Uh, and finally, uh, just to go off topic a little bit, uh, as this is the first video in the Cubase series, I just wanted to share that these three melodies here are available on my Patreon page. Uh, and to access these, uh, you need the $5 a month one. If you think the Demis Helen channel deserves a subscription to Patreon, then head over and you can get these three MIDI files here. There's your first one. Uh, and don't get me wrong, I did make a mistake. It's actually $3, and the $5 one gets you uh, the presets as well. Uh, five per month, actually. And this is the final one. So if you want those melodies, uh, just head over onto Patreon and you can find them there if you think that the Demis Helen deserves the support. So if you enjoyed the video, please let me know in the comments below and also drop me a like and a subscription. Um, and I upload twice a week, minimum of two main videos and then we have some of these quick tip tutorials in between. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next